folks, and welcome to, or welcome back to, SnowRunner. So I had to, I was sitting here getting ready to record, and I got everything running, and realized I didn't have sound. And I had forgotten to plug my headphones in. Now we've got sound. And we are down to the last four missions. As the game sits now, I have four missions to go. Uh, this is the last task that I have, and I didn't even know I had this task until I started going through and looking at all of the maps and the areas to make sure all the tasks and everything were completed. And... I had never activated this task. So I just went and activated it. And I will show it to you here in a minute as soon as I get through all this stuff. Uh, this one is... I have to... Oh, I hate this trailer. This trailer's so hard to pull off-road. So if you see, it's got four sets of axles, two in the front, two in the back. And it is harder to pull than the trailers that have one set of axles in the front and one set in the back. So this is the settling in mission, and I have to go to, let's get rid of that waypoint, I have to go pick up three wooden planks at the lumber mill, and there is a flatbed trailer there, and I might swap out trailers. But I will take that and deliver it to the village. So very simple, not that difficult. And then I have my global map. And over here on Zim, I have three contests left. I have the oil field delivery, which is two metal beams. And I have the Voron D sitting here ready for that. And got a trailer hooked up to it with two metal beams. And that will be delivered to the oil field. So I still have to plan a route for it, and I believe I'm just going to take it up this way. And out that way. Then I have the warehouse delivery, which is four wooden planks. And it's not showing me the four wooden planks, but the four wooden planks are right here. And I have to take them to the warehouse. So for that mission, I brought in something that I haven't driven in a bit. Doo -doo -doo. And that is the Azov 5319 with a flatbed on it, a semi-trailer. And we're going to try to make that delivery in under eight and a half minutes. Then I have this one, cement delivery. And it keeps telling me that I got to go to quarry to get the cement. So I don't understand this mission. Um, I have checked, whoop, I've checked these locations and I can't get cement in any of them. So I don't know where to get cement on this map. Uh, and cement looks like three flat boxes. So let's try looking one more time. Sawmill. Nope, that's just wood. At the factory is only steel beams. At this warehouse is only large containers. And at that warehouse is only containers. 
So I don't understand this mission at all. Because it is a timed mission. Five minutes and 30 seconds. But it doesn't tell me to where to pick the cement up. Unless I can pick cement up here. And it doesn't have it. So not sure what to do here. Uh, maybe something I have to look up on YouTube and see if anybody else has done this mission and see what they did. But I'm not worried about it right now because I have another mission to do. And how are we going to get out of here? Um, come over here and climb out. Or I can actually try to climb out of here. Uh, there are trucks that will climb out of there. And I think I will give it a try. So why not? The other two missions shouldn't take me very long. This one shouldn't take me very long, so might as well have a little bit of fun at it. Trying to get everything finished up. Because tomorrow is the Phase 1 update. I wonder what I can pick up here. Concrete slabs all I can get. So phase one comes out tomorrow, and I wanted to get everything done on this playthrough so that I can see what is new in phase one. It's supposed to be a bunch of new missions. Uh, from what I understand, from listening to other people, and that could be my first mistake, but uh, there's supposed to be missions uh, for the new missions for the maps that we already have. So that's going to be interesting. I'm hoping they are complex missions that require a lot of loads. A lot of driving and no more of building a huge bridge with just uh, two concrete slabs. But we will see what we get tomorrow. Also got a couple of new vehicles coming in, so can't wait to get my hands on them. And I know there's been playthrough from the test server of one of the maps. But I was kind of late to the party on this one. Uh, this game was out for a few weeks before I actually got it. So I'm hoping to uh, record some videos tomorrow. I am off tomorrow. And my only plans are to uh, check out the new maps a couple of episodes and clean my garage out. Unfortunately, the garage takes priority. Because when it comes to my garage, I am a hoarder. 
I hang on to everything. Scraps of wood, hinges, old doorknobs. You'll never know when I'm going to need them again. And it has gotten to where I can't do a lot of new projects unless I'm moving junk around. And I finally had enough. Started on it today. And it got a little bit warm out there. I don't have air conditioning in my garage. Uh, but tomorrow is supposed to be cooler. And I was also not feeling good today. Uh, got a stomach virus several days ago and it's been kicking my butt but I'm feeling much better now and ready to work So I should make some people around my area fairly happy because the junk that I don't want in it, I'm not, oh, it's the same trailer. And I'm not talking about junk junk. Uh, what I'm talking about is, uh, you know, stuff that's still fairly good somebody can use because I'm not going to put trash out. But, uh, at the end of my driveway, I've got a wall that separates my driveway from the alleyway next to me. And I put out a lot of uh, stuff out there. And put a, a uh, free sign on it. And never fails, almost everything some point in the next couple of days will disappear. People will come by and take it. Alright, so I'm going to put one wooden plank here. Oh. And then wooden plank there and wooden plank there. I'm going to balance out the load a little bit. So after I get these next deliveries completed. I have most of the trailers off of the maps, but I still have a few trailers. And I'm going to need to get them off. So I chose the Western Star for this mission. Because it's actually the last mission or task that I have to do. The others are just timed events. And I decided I'm going to use my favorite truck for this one. Ooh. That's too close to that tower. To be honest with you, I haven't been all that impressed with the Russian trucks lately. They just have not been running well. When I first got on this map, they ran really well. A couple of them were really good trucks, and I really liked them. But lately, it seems like the good trucks that I really like just can't seem to pull their own weight, let alone a trailer or a load in the back. Now, there are some exceptions. The step is still running really well. The other two trucks I'm going to use today. I did a little test on them and they are still running really well. Uh, turn around here. Alright, and I think I am going to go straight here. I have been going to the left. Uh, but the last two times I've went to the left with a load ended up around one uh, curve flipping the truck so I want to try to avoid that 
because as you can see I do not have the crane on this truck with the crane on it I cannot pull the trailer it's one of the biggest complaints I have about this truck is that with the crane and the flatbed no pulling of trailers and that's the same way with the step uh, if it has the crane and the flatbed on it you cannot pull a trailer and I believe if I could only have three trucks in this game uh, to do missions with I would probably pick this one, step, and the uh, Azov that I'm going to be driving later. And of course, can't forget the putt putt. So the Lodestar is my buddy. It's my favorite scout field. And I use it for almost every scouting mission. I did go and try some of the other scouts out recently. And they just don't seem to run as good as the Lodestar. I even put them head to head going through some rough areas and mud and rocky areas and the way I drive. So I'm loaded. Alright. So for the way I drive, it is the load star is the best for me. Get this turned around, get it up to some good ground. load my momentum down. There we go, and I'll come back to this later, and yeah, let's go ahead and put the parking brake on, and uh, start getting these trailers out of here. There's only a couple left on the map. So which one do I want to do first? And we'll get in this one and then we'll figure it out. I think I want to do this mission first. And then take the Azov and take the wood back to our garage area. Because this is the mission that I'm... And wouldn't want to say most concerned with, but the one I'm not really sure about. Uh, whether or not the truck is going to have any problems. So metal beams, I need to go to the oil field, which is over there. I had thought about going this way. Uh, but I've got eight minutes. <clears throat> So I think with that eight minutes, I need to take the shortest route possible, which would probably be here, and come around, and then head up here. So I think that is what I'm going to try. That way if I run into any issues, and I have to tow myself out with the winch, have a little extra time. 
The only thing that worries me is whether or not this road is level. And my luck, it probably is not. So we'll go that way. And go this way. Actually, I'm going to move that, and I figured out how to do this. Move that over there. And come on. Move that there. Because coming this way and then cutting through here is actually easier. And I think it's actually cutting through here is easier than trying to go through this mud. So I tried that last time and it worked out pretty good. All right. Get you fired up, get the handbrake off. Okay, so those are always on. What time of day do we have? And I don't want to do this at night. Oh. Help if I accept it. And off we go. Some lights on till it gets daylight. And it's been a while since I've driven this truck, so I'm not sure how tippy it is. But we're about to find out. But this one still seems to have a lot of power. And some of the trucks, like the Tega, seems like they're way down on power. And I don't know why. But they don't seem to be as powerful as they were when I first got them. Uh -oh. Ah! Okay, slow down. Don't flip all the way over. Well, poop. I don't want the winch connected. There we go. Oh, no, 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 not remove cargo. Pack cargo. see because of trees all right so that took a little time but we might be okay
least I didn't lose the load. And now I'm off the hard ground. Come on, you can do it. Almost there. Alright. So it took a little longer than anticipated, but I was able to do it. So now we have the Azov. Load it up. Ready to go. And I've got eight minutes. And I brought the Azov over this way. And it did really well through there. Only one area gave me any problems. But I'm... Um, not sure if I should take that road or not. I'm going to go for it. And then I know my way the rest of the way. So we slide out here, get on this road, and just whoa, follow this road around. Wow, my right joystick is moving really fast. Just kind of looking to see if there might be a path through here, but on a timed event, I think I will stick with the road. So 8 minutes, 30 seconds. Start it up. And accept, and I'm off. And I've forgotten how long this thing is. here so we can get some power down keep it from trying to shift gears also forgot to fuel it up
I want to try that automatic winch, but it went the wrong way. So I did hear somebody on YouTube talking about you know, the hardcore mode. Uh, no idea when something like that's going to come out. But they did mention something about having to do all the deliveries in first person. That is definitely going to be hardcore. As soon as they do a hardcore mode, I'm going to be all over that. Did I take... No, I didn't. Okay. But I took the wrong way. Yep, I about took the wrong way there. It's taking time. And some of these challenges, or some of these timed events, I've gotten so aggravated with them that I didn't care what I got. I just wanted to get them done. Uh, there was one on drowned lands that I tried four times. All four times truck flipped on me so I decided I was just going to take my time and I think it was like eight minutes and I did it in like 17 or 18 minutes just to get it done I got tired of fooling with it I don't like the time challenges I've completed all of them but one in the minimum time, but uh, it was just aggravating to me. Three minutes and 20 seconds. And we're almost at the river crossing, I believe. And this road gets worse every time I drive on it. Seems to take longer. Also not hitting my marks like I normally do. Because this is a lot longer. Come on.
Hopefully I don't have an issue with that trailer. It'll just bounce itself around. to that one and I'm not gonna make it in the time limit especially when I gotta do shit like this it's where people with computers have an advantage over me playing on Xbox oh come on They can use the mouse. Stuck on a stupid tree. And I'm not going to make it. And now it disappears. That's alright. As long as I get it completed. All I'm re really worried about now. Yeah, maybe I should have took the other road. I don't know, maybe sometime I'll try that. Take the other road and see if I can finish it in under eight and a half minutes. So, one more mission to go, and still doesn't tell me where to get the cement. So where do I get cement at? It's got to be within five minutes of here. Let's try... Boron. Drive up here, see if there's a loading area for something. So that might be one I have to look up. I had to look up another one. Because it didn't tell how to do it.
And the thing of it is a starting point. Where is the starting point? Well, I know where the starting point is. Starting point is in our garage. Oop. So cement delivery. And I'll try that one more time. But I out of fuel. Oops. So I have to go back and check. Could have been having a few issues because I was running out of fuel. Okay, the only thing I can get there is containers. Alexander, if Alexander was not my cousin, I would have fired him a long time ago. He lost a load of bags with cement in the river, and now I have to deal with it. Uh, either get them back or replace them. I don't care which. So five minutes and 30 seconds. But it still doesn't tell me where they are at. Maybe I've got a, I don't know, maybe accept it. Ah, uh, okay. I get it now. Well, I didn't know where they were. And now I know where they're at. Okay, so... over here and I cannot what can I do I'm not going to be able to use this because I'm going to have to pick them up let's drop this off over here and look at it one more time because I'll just restart it once I'm set up so I can't go to the garage I can't change the trucks so I'm going to have to have something that has a crane and there's four of them so that means two trips Okay, so let's go ahead and cover, and that will stop it. And we'll see what I can do here. So I put the heavy crane on here. Well, let's try the... Uh, little crane and see if I can do a flatbed. I 
Okay, so that will load two. And then I can come back and pick up two more. I have to be able to do that in five minutes. So let's go over and see where they're at. there how big are they can I put two of them on a flat there Okay, so those two I can drag over. Make sure that I can get out this way. hidden stumps in my way. Don't appear to be. So let's check out the other two. The other two, I'll come back down here again. Drive out here. And... Okay, so I can reach that one. And I can reach that one. That's not the two I want. Yeah, I can reach those two. And I will drag them back, lift them up, and put them on. Alright. So now I've got a plan. See if I can execute the plan. I think I'm going to get the hardest two first. And then get the easier two. And accept. So I think it said five minutes, 30 seconds. And it's the last mission on this map, so I don't care. As long as I get it done. I'll go through this little area. Slide through that tree. Slide through this tree tree behind me that'll pull me out. And activate the anchors. Activate the crane. Come on, crane. Oh, you know, I think I saw somebody do this once. 
Oh, that's the wrong button. And they said if you use the heavy crane. Oh, I'm too far away from that. And a trailer. You can do it better. Because a heavy crane is faster. Anchor. Anchors didn't go down. Stay on there. And pack cargo. Store crane. Back up out of here. And I'm stuck. And I'm already three minutes into it. I'm already three minutes into it. Activate anchor. Crane. Let's double stack. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, no, 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 that's not what I want. I shouldn't have restored the crane. Didn't mean to do that. But hey, maybe it'll stay. I don't figure they will.
All right, I didn't get the highest, but did do in six minutes, 13 seconds. I think I am going to try it at some point, pulling a trailer behind me and using a big crane. It extends out a bunch more and uh, it's faster because this little crane is slow. May also try it with an American truck because that crane extends out a little bit more and it's a little faster too. So let's take a look. And I've completed all the watchtowers, all the upgrades, all the missions for Michigan. Same thing. Oh, no, wait a minute. I've got two more missions in Alaska. I am not done yet. What did I miss? Bricks in the river. Well, that's one. Thought I had them all. Oh, and I got a contest. North Mountain Conquest. So I've got a task and a con and a. Uh, contest to do but I am complete with Tamir and Michigan alright so I think what I'm going to do is uh, gather up all my sell them and retain all my vehicles and head back to Alaska there is something I want to do in Alaska anyway so this will give me a chance in the next video to do that Alright, so uh, I'm actually done for the night because it's getting late and I have to get up early. So I appreciate y'all watching me. And if you like the video, leave a like. Uh, if you didn't like it, uh, leave a comment. Let me know why you didn't like it. And if you liked it, leave a comment. Let me know, you know what I did well, what I need to improve on. Uh, I like feedback and I appreciate it. So I will see you guys in the next one. And until then, have a good one.